Good afternoon, everyone. Ashley and I will be presenting the Halley Burton case for week seven. Here is a brief introduction on what Halley Burton is. Halley Burton is a worldwide company which was founded in 1919 by Earl Halley Burton from Oklahoma. Halley Burton offers the world's broadest array of products, services, and integrated solutions for oil and gas exploration, development, and production. Halley Burton employs uh, more than 75,000 people, representing 140 nationalities in approximately 80 countries. This demonstrates just how exp expansive Halliburton is. The major points from the case that we received was Halliburton implements product development strategies exceptionally well, generating record profit and revenue increases. In 2007, it divided its service offerings into two divisions, uh, this being completion and production, and drilling and evaluation. Uh, Halliburton established a second headquarters in Dubai due to customers moving their focus from the west and into the eastern markets. The move puts the company closer to key markets and reduces costs of moving material, products, tools and people. So the question at hand is, the real value of Halliburton's offerings is the ability to combine its proprietary expertise in, into a total solution for customers where well returns are diminishing. And what we really focused on was, does their increased em emphasis on Eastern markets at the expense of North America seem reasonable? Halliburton's financials. By having a brief look at Halliburton's financials, it is clear why the company were able to expand by establishing a second headquarters in Dubai. Pictured is an excerpt from Halliburton's 2010 annual report, where we can see their revenues increased 22.4% to $17.97 billion, whilst their profits increased to 59.5% to $1.84 billion. Their 2011 year was also extremely successful, with profits for the first three months of 2011 doubling to 511 million from 201 million from the previous year, as you can see. Halliburton's revenues and profits were increasingly expanding, which allowed them the opportunity financial to geographically expand into the East. Customer orientation. Although Halliburton's success allowed them the funds to establish a second headquarters, Halliburton's decision to shift focus into the eastern markets also came from the need to accommodate their customers' trends and newly found orientation. Only recently have Halliburton's highly valued customers been moving their focus from the difficult reserves of the Western Hemisphere and into the east, where oil is abundant and easier to drill due to environmental and political concerns. With the United States currently being the world's largest consumer of oil, churning through 18.8 million barrels a day. It is highly important for Halliburton to exceed their customers' expectations and values. It is vital Halliburton capitalises on their valuable and costly to imitate capabilities, their customers, by, continuous, by continually adapting to their values and trends and effectively implementing competitive strategies. With trends in consumer orientation likening towards that of sustainability and environmental protection, it is vital Halliburton continuously adapts to the changing trends. By doing so, although Halliburton has expanded their business, they have not jeopardised their financial position by shifting their focus to the east. Geographic expansion. In addition to Halliburton striving to achieve and exceed customer demands, shifting their focus into the east will also gain more customers globally with their use of geographic expansion. Expanding their business into the east should in turn provide ho higher overall revenue for the company. Halliburton will also gain a higher return on investment, further increasing their revenue, which is pictured on the right. As shown, Halliburton's revenue has increased quite dramatically from 2009 to 2012. Environmental issues. Environmental activists and many other stakeholders are concerned about the negative impacts drilling oil in North America will have due to the impact on the ecosystem and the possible industrialization of the coastlines. However, Halliburton has implemented several strategies on their websites in efforts to combat these political and environmental external threats. 
including the clean wave system, which treats wastewater, allowing it to be recycled. Pictured is the clean wave system, which allows all users of their website to see the amount of water that is being saved due to this initiative. So what is the approach taken by Halliburton? And this is Halliburton's view on sustainability. We strive to use our resources responsibly and regard our guiding principles of sustainability as key components to the company's long-term success. Sustainability is at the core of the company's long-term success and is embedded through our business. We thought it important to present Halliburton's view on sustainability in order to promote their environmental concerns and showcase their adaptation to changing customer trends. To conclude our case and the discussion, uh, we have come up with these three major points and they have satisfied our questions and queries as to whether Halliburton's increased emphasis on Eastern markets is reasonable. Halliburton has demonstrated a commitment to sustaining the future of their company and the world we live in by accepting they need to work alongside the environment. The move is also reducing the costs for Halliburton which allows for better returns for shareholders and accessibility to innov innovative projects which overall is su sustainability. They have taken up the opportunity to expand Halliburton, uh, so this is them taking up the expansion opportunity as every hardworking company is entitled to use their funds to expand their products and services. And finally, the Clean Wave System and Look Beneath the Surface initiative, which is pictured in the previous slides, shows innovation in addition to custom, customer orientation as their ability to deal sensitively to society's issues and concerns really shines through. After our research and discussion, we've concluded that the increased emphasis on Eastern markets at the expense of North America is reasonable. Thank you for listening and these are our references.